Okay, it's Miles again, part two of my video. I told you last time that when I made the video, I would show you my finished project of a dry fuel cell. Now, I finished it, and I've connected it, and I'm going to test it out. I've got all the cables connected, I've got everything connected, even the electrical wires, my bubbler going here, there's the other one on the other side, my water mixed with sodium. Now I'm going to turn my lights on because I've connected it to my lights, if I connect it to the lights then I know when I turn the lights off, then the hydrogen will not be working. So that's a safe precaution. Okay. As you can see, it's producing heaps and heaps of hydrogen. Without any problem. It's not overheating. I've got a 7.5 amperage, uh, what do you call them in here, just in case anything does go wrong, it will cut out. Just connect that back on again. Now let's have a look at the bubbler. As you can see, plenty of hydrogen. That is plenty of hydrogen. I'll be putting a lid on on that and I'll be running a hose off this directly into this. I'll, when I take this off, I'll be putting a nice plug in there and I'll have a hose going directly into my air intake manifold. For now, I'll just leave it in there. Let's have a look again. Plenty of hydrogen. Plenty. Without any problems. Still cooking away. And it's producing heaps and heaps of hydrogen. That's placed in my BMW. I'll be testing it to see what mileage I get on that. I'll just turn it off now. As you can see, I turn my lights off. Hydrogen is turned off. No more production. That is the best way and the safest way to do it. Some people have, as you can see, no more hydrogen. As you can see here, it stopped producing. My lights are turned off, and the hydrogen is turned off. My lights turn on, hydrogen turns on. Thank you for watching. Please let me know how yours goes. Thank you.